How's it going on? So i back with an all new video and today I'm going to be showing you how you can create vanishing point edits using After Effects. We're going to be uh, using both Photoshop and After Effects into this. Um, vanishing point is not an option available in After Effects so for creating the planes we're going to be using Photoshop and for animating it we're going to be using After Effects. Now if you're facing problems like your Photoshop hangs once you export it out so if you go to filter go to vanishing point and you just click over there and return 3D layer to Photoshop and that causes problem due to your Photoshop hangs it out so mine also did that so I created this way and I found it out that you can also animate it in After Effects so let's get started simply so first of all I'm having an image and it's gonna be like background locked let's go to filter and go to vanishing points and I'm gonna be for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna be creating like very small and simple plane like this and I'm gonna be making sure that this plane is a square type plane I'm, I'm gonna just make sure that's a pretty much bigger plane and just by a bit like this and we have it like uh, the way we want it to be so just maybe make sure that it's pretty much good so if this is a valid plane you need not to make sure that those aren't like these red lines we wanted them to be blue and get these um, grid size so just hold control drag a perpendicular out here and let's make it a bit large bigger and move it around with so, so that covers all that area too let's drag another one now let's make it right around here I hope that would it would be matching that one too now hold control drag another one and it like sub and side coincides of into that doesn't need to be very pretty much perfect so we have our planes matching and pretty much doing the stuff that we want them to be now this is pretty much like leaving an area out there so maybe I should coincide it out and let's create another plane that should be covering that and let's make it something like this so we have our plane and perspective pretty much done let's go over to setting a command for vanishing points and create export for after effects I'm gonna be creating a new folder I'm naming it tutorial let's go inside it and it's gonna be saving as VP file so I'm gonna name it tutorial let's save it and it's gonna export it depends upon the quality of your picture so just wait for a sec okay so once it's exported you can click OK it doesn't really matter it won't do anything out here so just close Photoshop it's not needed anymore okay now we inside of After Effects and if we go over and head over to that folder again so you can see it have created a background and the planes that we recently created before so these planes are gonna be helpful for us um, you cannot import the VP file directly into After Effects just give them error that it doesn't recognize those files so just go to file import and let's go to vanishing point .vp files and if you're facing like um, speaking way too much faster then you can slow the tutorial down by just by a bit of speed so it would be pretty much like you can hear it and open this VP file click OK and you can get the composition now you need not to drag the composition in and just uh, create another combo type just double click over to it and you can see if I switch it over to third view because it's way too much resolution for my computer to handle and if I just scale it to fit and it's pretty much like rotated but we need not to worry uh, these are all 3d objects and these are parented to the null object so just rotate the null object I'm going to be making it zero rotation completely zero so that gives us the picture that we have recently had we already have a camera maybe just rename it to active camera so we have a camera you need not to parent it because if you parent the camera that's gonna cause us further troubles and now using the camera tool you can track Z camera and you can see what picture do we have here and if I go back you can go through the image these are refreshing at a time so you need not to worry about them you can pretty much go away deep but not too much you can see these are scaling out so maybe just by a bit not way too much so here that's the origin, original position now you can even animate this so I just go halfway maybe just not 15 seconds maybe just 5 seconds 5 seconds are pretty much good for this tutorial let's make it 5 seconds and that way, that way we can do it so we have it like 5 seconds done now hold over to your camera active camera press P and you can create a keyframe out here and go to the very last like five seconds or something maybe just about a bit extend it out and use your Z camera tracker tool and if you once you drag in automatically a keyframe would be created maybe just by a bit like something like this and let's see what we get 
so if I scale that out so that I can see the keyframes moving and maybe just press like at the ending of it will be like easy ease just right click go to keyframe assistant and click on easy ease you can even press F9 and if I play it you can see we're getting it pretty much like everything's moving and it's like it's like being animated these things are like pretty much like these are 3d but they are actually into and 2d image doesn't really matter and if it would be at real fps it would like look like really really smooth so just wait for it to render so you can see it's like working but these things are stretching so i pretty much hope you can not go way too deep into it maybe just buy a bit and the final thing that we could do is select these two keyframes if you want it to be like that and go to keyframe graph and just move it around so that if you want it pretty much faster working way into them and then slowing down so it will be like something like this here's what we get you can see the camera speeds up and then slows down you can see it really slows down by way down here and that's what we get and that's the final result so i hope you enjoyed this video you can export this video now uh it would be like you can re really go to composition edit render queue but i prefer you can use an edit adobe media encoder if you have ame like i do have here and that would be it for today i hope you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials coming also follow me on instagram it's underscore hisaro and it's sourcing out from frosty tech signing out